Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Nightmare Castle, a Yumaniki inspired exploration game that features old school PZ98 style graphics and FM sounds and soundtrack. It's currently in a very early version, and I'm mainly just going to go through some of the worlds that are already in the game. Instructions. Pretty typical stuff. Both characters do have different worlds to explore. They aren't just cosmetic um, avatars or anything like that. And from what I saw, they do have like a little bit different theming to it. This character is, has a more, I'd say, fantasy-like, futuristic at times theme to everything. Let's see, which one do I want to go to? This one, yeah. There's a treasure me collecting mechanic in this game, and you can turn those treasures into a special NPC to get more forms and abilities, aside from the ones you collect just by exploring around cat form. Keen ears and a nose for treasure that can be quite useful. Nico Nico Nia. Aside from the futuristic motif, this character has a lot of traditional kind of Japanese areas. It's kind of interesting contrast. Hmm, a lot of little figures on the ground. You found the Kiyo special item. Oh. Well. I think if you're in a dream and you're in there with me, it's probably not safe to be around me. Well, we've got our killing tool in this game. The opening area is like the start of an RPG, almost. Or the start of an old PC-98 Toho game. Never kind of Asian-themed area. Seems like figures are a recurring theme. That's interesting. Can I go back up that wall, though? Yes, I can. Huh. See, we were selling like a traditional area, and then we've merged into some kind of technological one. It's like we're exploring the world of 80s and 90s anime.
Hmm? Door room. Well, compared to some other Dream Simulator games, we got some very nice lobby-like areas. I mean, we got some nice couches. Got some FM elevator music. And we have Neo Tokyo. With a song that sounds straight out of the Snatcher soundtrack. If only I can be so grossly incandescent. short one treasure. We'll be back, my feline friend, after I explore the rest of Neo Tokyo. Maybe this stream world is inspired by old anime. Well, actually, that would make sense because the whole game itself is inspired by old games from that era. Green. Which phallic-shaped object do I want to touch? Seems like this area loops in on itself. Cat. Even got the random color shifts when we move around. Well, it seems we're not getting for this forest. Now just enter your Technicolor Dojo. That... yeah. Well, at least the couch is still red. And a little bit of color to the lives. Almost like a Game Boy game now. This place feels pretty cozy. I can wander around here for a while. Plus the music is nice. Yeah, I think I can I think I could live here for a while. I mean it's lonely, but I have the rocks, the trees, that are all black and white, devoid of color, and randomly shifting based on where I'm moving. And if you ever want to go inside, you can go to a red lobby. It looks like it's right out of Twin Peaks. Would you like some coffee? Well then. I think those are knights. Yeah. You found the N8801 special item. Advanced systems increase your speed, senses, and your ability to take a fall. I've gone from being a 90s schoolgirl badass katana wielder to a 90s android girl. Or 80s.
And I go Sonic fast. Every time I enter this area, I feel like I'm about to start a new game. Like the start of a shoot 'em up or something. It just gives me that feel. Suddenly there could be things just flying down the screen. Crystals shooting bullets everywhere. Okay, I see. So the green crystal takes me to the forest grassland with the wild tadpoles at Rome in packs and herds. Forming an almost fish shape or something. And there's random pink smiley faces on the ground. Oh, but there is treasure. If I go find that annoying cat guy, I can go become grossly incandescent. Hello there. That's interesting. What did I do? I've entered another dark hallway area inhabited by a race of paper lanterns. Paper lanterns who deem it fit to not light anything around them and just float around annoyingly. Hello, string person. You're the second one I've met, haven't I? Move up, I don't want to have to kill you. But it seems like I'm gonna have to. Well, it, it seems I murdered you for no apparent reason. Uh... I wouldn't be surprised if that area is not finished yet. And I have become a murderer. Just for the sake of being a murderer, I guess. Will you save your game? Please insert utility disc. That's actually kind of a cool theme. Let's see... Red... Blue... Neo Tokyo, okay. Hmm? No cat merchant. But there is treasure. Oh, that's interesting. Now I am truly like the sun, a wonderful heavenly body. I have gained the ability to be incandescent and give off sparks no matter where I go. Some treasure. I can go back to the cat merchant then. After I enjoy being grossly incandescent and camouflaging with the red backgrounds. Soldier uniform. Wait a minute, what? Am I leaving mines or sparklers around? Or are they cigarettes and I'm just littering?
I guess it's possible to litter in a dream world. <laughs> oh, I've screwed up your herd with my rampant littering. Hello there. What's in you? More of these nights. And a song that sounds something like a dramatic scene in a NES game. Uh, I have a looping. Seems like I can't use my ability here, so... Might as well go fast. Kenbate, Super Cyborg Magical Girl Dream-san? That's enough for this girl. Let's see what the other one has to offer. The other girl's hub area was crystals, and yours. It's like lights. A little more, a little more urban, I guess. Master of Snacks. Is very cool. What are you looking at, mate? I'll fucking clock ya. The librarian special line. Well, I gained some glasses. That makes me a librarian now. Ah! The book's changed. How to Kill Time. A book that wastes your time. Chapter 1. Blah blah. Blah 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 well, actually, the original title we got out of it was pretty close. What are you looking at, mate? The Dark Fact, Book 2, Missing Silver. Donut, donut, parables, and folktales. Oh no, it's series? The fuck? I better put in my Moya glasses on again. Fringe Negativity Theorem, the actual unifying font. Day of a Thousand Dreams. Seems like the only guests I get today are these neon hearts with legs. I guess books aren't popular anymore. I wonder if Senpai left a love note for me in my shoebox. No. Yeah, it's typical. How to juice dice? Hmm. Senpai? Well, I think that's it for this area, pretty much.
So let's see, library, street lights, and an area. We've got the token fishing village world. With more of those walking neon hearts butterflies? I guess they're butterflies. And a bunch of no masks people. Is that for that? Or this is a dream of someone stuck in the I Am Legend Omega Man world. Not the new version, the old one, where everyone wore black cloaks. And that area is not done. I can already see that your section of the game is probably undeveloped in comparison to the other one. Oh, gotta get my glasses on. Gotta seem important. A lot of red decorating. You enjoying uh, watching that TV of red lines that match the wallpaper? It's pretty interesting, huh? Yeah. At least my dream people keep occupied in their free time. So how are you doing? Green, free, rectangle, face, man? Or woman? Hi, uh... You guys... You guys know where I'm going? Pretty friendly place, actually. Oh, I think that's it. Unless there's a secret somewhere. I don't think her world has as much stuff. Hmm. And that's it for Nightmare Castle for now. Like I said before, this game is in an early version, although I don't believe I found all the areas or secrets that are in the game. I think what's currently in there is pretty cool, and I'm pretty much a sucker for all the retro style. PC-98 and the FM music, and I'll definitely be keeping a watch on this game's development over time, and I'll probably come back to it as more areas get added. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.